it up as much as you can straight onto Mark. Wide shot with both boxes, yeah, Barry? Oh, so it's it's really good. Um, it's a good video for a band. Oh, right. Do you want to put his lipstick on? It's Another one, same deal. Fraser, this is um, Adrielli. 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 Adrielli
offspring, uh, as it were, of sort of the hippie movement. Yeah. What's sort of eventually, you know, gone along the chain and, and turned into rave music. Yeah. And from that movement, I wonder whether you thought that rave um, was sort of the um, would turn into something else. Was the sort of beginning of a different yeah, type of yeah. sort of hippie revival of a second psychedelic wave. So that's exactly what it's going to become. Yeah. So then would you say that rave, um, the rave um, scene is sort of worship directed towards the earth? Yeah, potentially. When you go out to open air raves, I mean, what would get, what would get 50,000 people, inner city, urban youth to go out to the country? I mean, they're not going to go out for a picnic. They're going to go out for, because they're going to get hard techno, illegal music. And once they're out there, I mean, that's the reason they come, but once they're out there, they get nature, they get pa so pagan so groves, dance all night. The big thing in the early days, I don't know if it's still the same, it probably is, was to dance all night until you danced the sun up, as in shamanic African dancing. And so you kind of get this feeling that we are dancing the sun up with our energy, or we're, we're in tune, we're linked into nature again, and you dance the sun up, and that's kind of like which, the end of the... Which is what they used to do in sort of pagan yeah. type that, things. Yeah. Okay. If you go to a rave, you do tend, there's, there's, especially in the countryside, there's fewer restrictions. You go to a, a concert, like a rock concert, the big things, you know, you hustle through the turnstiles, sold appalling hamburgers, and, and ripped off. It's totally controlled. I went to a BBC thing recently. It was awful. I mean, the artists were great, but they're part of the machine. You just research. You just cycle. There's some sort of product, and it's just, you know, a, a thing. You know, that's why. That's why it's causing a lot of controversy right now because it's, um, you know, people think, oh God, it's dangerous again. It's dangerous, you know, which is what happened in the first place. I mean, this argument about it, it's house music. It's not live. I mean, so-called musicians will say it's not live music. But what's live about four ants? 150 yards away on a stage, going through some routine that they've done a thousand times, and 20,000 people sitting on their bums consuming it, not doing anything. That's house music, that's music being taken out of the hands of the people and put into the stars and the big music business. House music gets those 10,000 people up dancing, looking at each other, not all looking at these ants, these superstars in the distance, they're all looking at each other, smiling, making eye contact. So the music has been returned to the people. I'm security, I look after the guys. Yeah, why is security worse than Sometimes you can be out and about, we can be playing in places where things can get hectic, and when it gets hectic... <laughs> hectic with them? Hectic with them. Well, you see, there's like, they're cool, but there's other people out there, they ain't so cool. Who's that? Just people. This is London. You know? It's 1159, Son of Noise. Hijack. London Pass. No, like. no, no, I don't mean involving like other artists. I mean, we can go somewhere, play. Now are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go back. Further back. A little right there.
people coming down. Kings have stopped it again, second time. First time in the morning, we had a party to come to. Now it's come to the point where Kings have fucked us up completely. What the fuck are we going to do? It's a party in South London, but everyone's not ready for that, do you know what I mean? Everyone's running around. It's not like the olden days. What are we going to do? Who can you blame? The police, basically. Fuck everyone's fucking night up. Right. Joining their wang, do you know what I mean? Full stop. Sorry about this, people, but this is how it goes, do you know what I mean? No. It'll be okay, don't worry. It'll be, uh, it'll be good fun. It's all compiled, ready and... Look at the lengths. Oh, roughly. Predators on tomorrow. Oh, banging. Well, so what? The, uh, the main mix is on the A and these two are on the B, yeah? So, can we the main mix is on, like, 45, 9 to 13. You wanna, do you want to cut one side at 45, one side at 33? Well, it's not a good idea. No. Nah. Cut them both yeah. at 33. Yeah. It'll really be banging loud and everything. Yeah, don't worry. So, so, what's the catalog number then on this? Oh, that's that's the, oh, that was a tricky one. Oh, that was a tricky one. Would I mean, it be hand 002? Yeah, what was is, the first one? Was hand 001? Yeah, was it? it's good. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lisa, that was Lisa. It's her birthday today, Lisa. isn't it? She didn't, she, I didn't bring any of this stuff on it. Hand, hand double O two. Hand double O one. Hand double O two. Stand on me. Um, but is it a hand? It is a hand, isn't it? This is skillful. Right, I just need to get over there a minute. This is where all Jeff's hours of training are. Oh, that's right, well, my hours are playing pinball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh,
a boy. quite effective because we're going to pad it pad out the grub king as much as possible it's going to be and a, put a, a silken yeah. parachute around it yeah. tie that around how long is this going to go on for quite a while it's going to go on for days guy in there, mm -hmm. he's a maggot and he's our ruler. Yeah. And uh, everybody around here is a, are, are his serfs and his slaves and various other things. Yeah. And uh, basically there's a, a whole a whole society going here. Okay, so we're gonna put this over here, okay? And uh, <laughs> oh, <mercy. laughs> don't worry about the dirt. Oh, oh you look great. Right. I have right. to take my trunk in case oh, somebody make it. <laughs> okay, I'll bring it. We'll take, a, we'll take a shot of you winning your trolley down here, you see. I'll have to get up sometime, surely. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you yeah. can swallow. I'll, 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 I'll pour it in a little bit at a, at a time. Oh, uh, yeah, I know I can fine. swallow. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. Who's this man? You're in no position to get struck. I am. In man, not on me. Oh, Fuck it. Oh. Do that again and you get in the sack. One, 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 one. Gone again. One, 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 one. B, 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 C. Have you got yourself in there? Yeah. No, I haven't actually. Sorry, Joe. I've got the headphones on. I can't get nothing through. One, 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 one. That's it. Alright, Neil. Nice to see ya. Nice to see ya. Indeed. Yeah, That's nice. Right. Nice setup. You like the setup, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we've only just got it sorted out. You're just our fourth guest that we're yeah. going to have on here. Right. But, um, yeah, it's alright so far. It's been alright. Great, yeah. So, you got bought some records and stuff? No. Good. Right. Let's do the bus, actually. Yeah. I thought it was typical. Right then. So, I suppose you better sort the records out. Yeah, yeah. sort the records out and let's crack on, really. Yeah. Okay. Well, got a rush because we've got some really big stars coming. All right. Nice one, Dave. All right, first your love. All right, come on, it's quite fun. Yeah. Right, Dave. You're listening to. <laughs> Hang on a sec. <laughs> right, ready? Okay. Yep. Rolling. You're listening to the BBBC, the Blood Brothers Broadcasting Corporation. And uh, with us tonight, we have Leftfield, who uh, for the past two years now have been out uh, some uh, really strong and quite 
identifiable sound into London, onto London's dance floor anyway. Uh, I've got Paul and Neil here. Hello. Hi. And uh, let's get straight on with the interview, mate. It's really funny, like, knowing you two from when we used to do violets, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know, and you used yeah. to, like, play percussion, like, we were playing yeah. records on a Saturday. And then all, like, um, the press that you've been getting, yeah. and the hype and the reputation as well, that you can get a solid reputation you've been getting. I mean, um, it must be really funny for you two. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is a bit odd, really, you know. I mean, like, we fell into, like, remix, it's like a bit of an accident, really. Right, have you sort of, like, got any backing from any major company, or mm. is it no, just... No, it's uh, uh, totally self-financed. Yeah, yeah. so, you, you know, hard times, must be. Yeah, yeah, hard times for hard hands. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, let's say crack on and hear some tunes. <laughs> OK. <laughs> in the process as much as everybody else um, showed how easy it is for total oddments like us, <laughs> not, basically, who don't even know how to plug in the bloody speakers, let alone, yeah. Yeah, just to turn up in the field yeah. with some equipment and make some noise. And the reason why people either love it or hate it is because it's like classical music, which we were listening to this morning when we got back, actually, yeah. to, to, to so listen to the sound. Yeah. Exactly. It's like with classical music, it's very much just sitting very quietly and mm. watching, yeah. right, so that your head is clear. Yeah. With this kind of music, you've got to dance. Yeah. Basically, yeah. dance or you're out of the area. It's yeah. not background yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. more, and obviously, with something yeah. that they yeah. did yeah. not want to happen again, because they knew the next time it would be yeah. the stomach of a lot bigger, basically. So what they did was they very effectively put um, most of the underground sound systems out of action, temporarily, I hate to add, by confiscating all their vehicles, all their rigs. I mean, the police must have the loudest sound systems probably in the world by now, basically. Um, and since that time, we, neither us nor, nor any of the other sort of six or seven sound crews at least, have been able to even hire equipment. Um, so it's been very, very quiet. Very quiet, far too quiet. You, you lot play around, you group, run across, do you do that, and you mint. All right. Ready? Ready? Right. Action! Alright? Okay, 
Boot it.
Who's the face to comprehend? Everybody's lost their ways in this corporate travel plan. Smiles are skipped for me.
nothing but a scar shit. You melt. scales melt. You come with two minutes, please, uh, you cunt. Up yours, motherfucker. So and this is say, Mr. Phil? Dirtbox Show. Oh, I had this horrible sort of like, um... I'm one of his friends who wants to whack him in the mouth. Crack. Why are these people going in? Why are these
So, gentlemen, very, very nice. it's been very pleasurable. <laughs> and, uh, oh, 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 Cause I had shit to do I picked up all my particulars necessary for the night Kiss my girl goodnight I squeeze her tight, turn off the light I took a flight to the street Where I had to meet my spa at 9.35 So we could drive in his car to the show And yo, you know the time was running late I jump with a goal for the manic Yes, I pull out a tape Out of my pocket, had to drop it in the slot of the stereo Maybe you could picture the scenario Two of us are sitting in the front, yeah Jack into the beat, rock D is back in suit in the back It's going off, yeah, it's all going down Seems like it's just another night of delight on the town 